Hi, this is Starkey Sowers, Director of Education for Clark's Nutrition and Natural Foods Market. Welcome again to another product review and uh, we've got a pretty exciting day actually planned for us today. Um, it's a product we've been carrying in the store for a period of time, Amazing Grass, and some of the things that's unique about it is uh, something that you're actually going to kind of find out from the co-founder himself and Todd Habermill. That's the word, right? I mean, I got that right. Is yep, that right? You did. Okay. Well, Todd, co-founder of the business and uh, a great product. Obviously, we, you, we've got it. We, we were talking earlier about you know the you know the whole maybe industry, so to speak. And one of the things that you kind of shed me light on is nationwide. I mean, talking not California wide. We're talking nationwide. Nationwide, you guys are the top of the category of the superfood or grass category, so to speak. Is that correct? Yeah, we've uh, grown. We started uh, eight years ago. So in eight short years, we've grown to be the number one selling brand nationwide in the natural foods category in the green food section. So we're really proud of that. And it's all been based on a grassroots marketing effort, word of mouth, and uh, just doing the right things in the stores with some great products. Yeah. So definitely a great product. I've tried some of the new formulas. We're going to talk about that as we start getting into this. But you know, like I, I was mentioning to you, I'm going to talk to you about your story. I think the story is the most important thing. A lot of times what happens in the health food industry, we forget there's a story behind a product. Why in the world would you start this or do that? And so I think your story is like awesome. So, you know, so here we are, you're, 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 you know, you're up in San Francisco, you're working in the Bay Area, and you're commuting with your buddy and you're drinking coffee and he's drinking green. So give me a little detail on that. Yeah, so uh, my uh, business partner, Brandon Burt, at the time we were both working for a telecommunications company, carpooling about an hour together. And so he had a big cup of uh, greens every single morning, which was wheatgrass, barley grass, and alfalfa that he had stored in his uh, freezer. And it came off of his family farm in Kansas that his, uh, his grandfather and his uncle had been farming for years. And so he would throw that into a smoothie I had a big cup of coffee and I thought that was the most horrifying way to start the morning is just to be drinking greens. So as it started to unfold over the course of a couple months, I started taking the greens. We got the people in the office started taking the greens. And so, you know, over uh, about a year, Brandon was handing out these little Ziploc bags of grass in the office that people were clamoring for and absolutely going crazy for. And so that led us really to, to uh, start to think about, God, what, we, what could we do if we could just bottle this and go direct from the farm to the stores, kind you know, of, is there a marketplace out there for it? Yeah. So now let's kind of wheel it back. So grandpa has been growing the grass for how long and all this, the cereal grasses here. So he started back in the thirties where so, he met a guy named Charles Schnabel, who's coined in the industry as the father of all wheatgrass. And that's really when he started to grow and dehydrate the world's finest cereal grasses. So in that moment, he was actually growing a lot of these cereal grasses and the wheatgrass and and some of the grasses for other companies throughout the years. Yes. Yep. Okay. So here's grandson hanging up in, in San Francisco. And I got this vision, you know, no offense. I mean, I, this is what I got. You guys are driving around this little, you know, little compact car cruising down the road commuting because San Francisco, you can't have big cars anyways. You're chugging the, you know, the, 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 the brown coffee and yep. he's got this green stuff rolling, you know, and it's like, I mean, dude, you guys are completely polar opposites at this moment. Yeah. And so as time goes on, you start drinking, go, oh my gosh, I can really feel the difference. And not only then it becomes contagious in the office and now it's contagious nationwide. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's been a really fun story. And you know, the thing that, you know, we can always take a step back is we went back, we quit our jobs, we quit, quit our careers. So Thankfully, uh, we had some on the line. patient wives, and, uh, but we really believed in it. And it was amazing what it was doing, not only for us, but what it was doing for the people in the office and, and our friends and family. And they were really feeling an effect and true benefits from the products. And so we thought, God, why not just bottle this stuff and get it out there for a let's price people can afford? And let's, let's make it a reality for other folks. Yeah. Can't keep that secret forever, right? No. Nope. Yep. So, yeah. So grandpa finally gets a grandson that takes the vision to the world, so yep. to speak. Yeah. So. Well, what did you guys start with? What was one of the number one products that you guys started with? So we obviously started with wheatgrass. That was uh, an easy product for right. us to start with. It's a 100% certified organic wheatgrass, single ingredient. So we essentially, um, the way we do it in the farm is, you know, the big misnomer is people always think of wheatgrass as the trade grown wheatgrass out in the uh, juice and smoothie shops. Right. But we and, actually, and that's common because you just walk in there, and they just clip the grass and then just pump it in there and you just hit wheatgrass shooters all the time. Right? Exactly. So our, in, um, the difference is we grow all of ours in a farm, in a field, and so we'll plant it in the fall, 
it grows a huge root structure of up to three feet deep. And then the wheatgrass blade itself will grow up to about 14 inches tall before we come and clip the top two inches. Well, significant in a couple different things. Number one, the stuff that's typically you're gonna find in like, you know, whatever juice company that you're, you know, juice shop you go into. What they've done there is they've taken the, the seed itself, they've thrown it on a bed of maybe dirt or maybe even just like, I, I mean, I hate to say it, maybe some type of fiber or something like that. And they grow it for 10 days and then they just clip it. Yep, and so, so you know, you're really not developing a nutrient system. You're not sucking up vitamins and minerals and everything out of the ground. Like in this application, you've got six months of growth going here and it becomes a very viable product. Right? Absolutely, so with any plant in the photosynthesis of it, when you have, like you're saying, the tray grown wheatgrass, it is 10 days old, six to 12 is usually when it's grown. It's really high in simple sugars. And so the enzymes in that plant don't have a chance to convert those simple sugars into complex proteins, carbohydrates, food that we know and digest. Right. And still getting obviously great benefit from all the chlorophyll, all the detoxification type concepts that you would have in a wheatgrass. So then you, you guys are just taking the top of this grass. You're not taking the whole stock, so to speak. Right. So what we learned through decades of research dating back with uh, Brandon's grandfather and researchers like Charles Schnabel and Dr. George Kohler, we understand that if you plant this product in the fall, let it grow a huge root structure, it struggles all winter long. Good news is for a struggling plant, it needs more nutrients for us Absolutely. because it's trying to survive. So we cut the top two inches uh, early in uh, the springtime and we'll harvest those, just the top two inches, we'll dehydrate them and then we compress them into pellets. They're stored frozen and then once we bring them out of frozen storage, we'll mill those down into a super fine powder and pack them into our bottles. And so that's the first product, there it is. Yep. Wheat grass, so what's, you know, you've got the individual package, you've got the powder, and uh, we've also got the tablet, so that was the first product. We come out with that, and then boom, another foundational product, barley grass, wheat grass, alfalfa. Yeah, so we grow barley grass, wheat grass, and alfalfa on the farm. Uh, one of the things that people often ask us is, yeah, you know, I really like barley grass. I take alfalfa as well, so why not combine all of those Absolutely. three? In, the, in a single bottle. So we call this the Amazing Trio. It's a real simple blend, again, certified organic. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's obviously a great green food blend. And it's, uh, you know, its focus is a little more on a deep rooted plant. Alfalfa goes 20 feet deep with Absolutely. its roots. So it gets more of a mineral content that you're not gonna find from a shallow rooted plant. Um, and you know, wheatgrass and barley grass being and, about and three And I feet. could probably be a little bit wrong, but I think for the most part, when you look at alfalfa with the 20 some odd feet of depth of growth, it picks up a good anywhere from 25 to 30 minerals out of the 72 available. So, you know, if you've got a, a, a situation where you've got minerals that are way down below, it's going to yank them out and just do a great job on bringing it to us on the table, so to speak. Yeah, so. it gets to a subsoil that uh, traditional produce can't get to, and, and certainly the wheatgrass and barley grass get three feet deep, which is a lot better than kale and spinach, but just not nearly anything like uh, alfalfa. Right. Alfalfa is considered really the king of all grasses, so to speak. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so then you've got this, you've got the trio, you've got the, you know, the, the foundation of all the cereal. Grandpa's happy, everyone's like, you know, just like ecstatic, and all of a sudden, boom, we like go, okay, you know what, let's take this idea and let's make a superfood out of it, and let's kind of expand the market. Was that kind of the concept with the superfood moment? Yeah, so the superfoods, obviously, um, you know, a lot of people, when they're looking for it, they just want convenience, and they want convenience and, and several different ingredients that they're ordinarily gonna go and buy. And so what we were able to do was include chlorella, spirulina, uh, spinach, broccoli, in with our grasses, so the wheatgrass, barley grass, and alfalfa. And then you couple them with some of the allergies, probiotics that people are looking for, digestive enzymes. And then we also put things in there like maca. We use uh, Sambazon acai powder. And again, that's a certified organic blend as well. It's a little tastier than the uh, wheatgrass. I think they taste great, definitely. Yeah. And then, then you know, obviously we'll get a little bit to the flavors, but let's just get back to the greens themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like the greens product, when you look at it, it's very complete. It's got the mock in it. It's got a couple other different compounds that, like you were saying, the acai. So you get this Brazilian moment in there. So it's kind of cool to get some of the ORAC energy and some of the different uh, things that are going to bring you some, some compounds that may be a little bit not necessarily better than just the grasses, but it kind of brings a more rounded product, so, you know, so to speak, to it. 
So great product. What I really liked, and I'll be honest with you, it was just like my, one of my favorite things, was the chocolate flavor. I mean, I got into that, I'm like going, you know, I, I was telling you, I almost took it from a perspective of there's no way this stuff's going to taste worth a hill of beans. You, you know, you guys send out a new product, I look at it and I taste it, and that's really good. So, and then, now today, before we do the shoot, you guys bring me the orange sickle. And that's even, I mean, I'll be honest with you, it's like a 50-50 toss-up. I really like that. Uh, the berry's good, but I, the chocolate's still like maybe on the top of my list. That's a great product. Really like that. Yeah, so we have uh, the ability to, um, we, ha we have the ability to take these uh, green superfoods and put them into different flavors. That's what makes it really fun for us. And so yeah. we're starting with ingredients that are based from the United States. And so they're really fresh. They have um, high integrity within them. And then we're adding organic compliant flavorings uh, to them. So the orange dreamsicle, great flavor take it in milk, shake it up, and it's amazing how you can get people who ordinarily wouldn't like the taste of greens or wouldn't take greens themselves. You can get someone taking this after dinner as a, in lieu of a dessert. Yeah. The chocolate, um, you know, drink, or the co chocolate. It's great stuff. Uh, green superfood, you know, we always say it's really easy to go green when it's covered in chocolate. So again, <laughs> looks, a like a big, <laughs> yeah, looks like a big glass of chocolate milk, tastes like a get big glass of chocolate milk, but still offers you more greens per gram than you're gonna see from most of the green foods that are out there on the store shelves. All right, Todd, so a couple of significant things right away. So I heard US, I wanna talk a little bit about that. Then I wanna kinda of go back through and I wanna look at this whole US, USDA organic and then organic. I wanna talk a little bit about that because I think that's significant about your product. And we've talked about that. So when you say US grown, wh wh why is that so different than maybe some of the other cereal grass companies that are out there? Well, it, and it's a good point. That's really you know, the reason why we've been so successful over the years. We are uh, a grower direct company. So going f direct from the farm to Clark's, there's no middleman in between. And what's happened over the evolution, the green food section has, has grown tremendously in the last decade. You know, the, uh, the green drinks are really popular in the refrigerated section, as well as the category of powdered green drinks. So and people are consuming more greens probably now than ever before. Right, and so there's been an evolution of more farmers that are growing grasses. Uh, namely, China is the number one supplier of wheatgrass and barley grass on a bulk basis, and they're not cutting the top two inches. They're cutting the entire cutting blade the of grass. Whole plant. And so, if you pull a blade of grass out of the ground, very white and stocky at the bottom, and it's very green and vibrant up at the tips, you can pull a blade of grass out of the ground at your local park. And what we always say is your fruits and vegetables speak to you and your colors. The green vibrancy up at the tips has a lot of phytonutrients, and that's where all of the mineral content That's where the stuff's at. That's where the stuff's at. And so what you're able to do as a farmer is you're selling price per yield. So if you can get more Sounds yield. Sounds pretty good to be able to cut it at the bottom and be able to get a whole lot more yield, absolutely. right? Absolutely. But you're not getting the nutrition. You're just getting a bunch of fiber and a bunch of stuff that's holding the good stuff up. Exactly. And so what we do is we cut just the top two inches. We're able to go grower direct and offer our products for a price that people can afford uh, in the store shelves. And so what we're doing is we're competing namely against you know, other farmers that are out there, China, Mexico, and Brazil, well, that are growing it differently in warm weather climates. And if you think about it, we're, we're literally, you know, our globe is getting smaller and smaller as we speak all the time. So what happens is controlling or, and, and being able to provide a product that substantiates the original research becomes very important, as opposed to some other companies maybe that are just out there buying from whoever's got the best price for the day. Absolutely. We always say, you know, if lettuce was all of a sudden the hottest ingredient that you were going to put into a green food blend, right. there's a lot, there's many differences between uh, iceberg lettuce as opposed to spinach salad. Let's People know it. that. So the lot, there's a big difference between grasses as well. Not all grains are created all right, equal. So, all right, Todd. So let's, let's, let's kind of delve a little bit into the products. Couple thoughts, like right away, I look at these products right here and we see USDA organic on the front. So talk to me about that. So those, uh, there's three classifications of organic. One is 100% organic, right. the second one is 95% organic, and then the third one is a made with claim that's 70% or more oh, organic. Okay. So this one's 100% organic, that's why it's got the seal, Yes. the USDA organic seal. So, so we have both. a, you, you, when, every time you see a USDA organic seal on the front of it, that means it's 100% or 95% certified organic uh, by the USDA through one of their accredited uh, agencies. So 
that would make sense on the wheat grass, the cereal grasses, such as the barley and the alfalfa. So now let's move over into this category right here, the superfoods, where we've taken that foundation of those cereal grasses, put it in here, and then brought other nutrients into it. Right, and so what we do is we have a, we still get all of our products certified organic by CCOF. So you'll see on the side of the label, that we're going to have a certification seal on every single one of our products. Saw that, right yeah. there. Good to go. So the green superfood is 84% certified organic materials. We also incorporate things like probiotics and digestive enzymes that are not certified organic. But the remaining 16% that is not certified organic is still strictly combed through by CCOF to make sure that the entire blend can have that made with claim and is a certifiable product. So there, it, what you're basically getting with any sort of seal on the side of it is verification that there is eyes on the label by an accredited agency. So one, one thing for sure, we're not doing an importation here. We're not just slapping a label on it. We're not buying stuff from wherever. We're buying US, a large percentage US you know, RDA organic, and then at the same time, we've got the family farm behind us. So, I mean, this, this has a real good feel to it. I mean, it does. I mean, you got to feel good about the product, don't I mean, you should every day wake up and go, hey, I feel good. I feel solid about my product. Is that true? Yeah, it's an easy sales job. I mean, you know, it's certified organic, uh, grown in the USA, once, once a year harvesting, the most nutrient-dense product out there, and pennies for nutrition. We feel that there's no other product like it on the store shelf, so it makes our job pretty easy. Yeah, that's great. So kind of finalize on the superfoods, the kids, the kids formula. So you were saying something about that. It was kind of a neat saying. You said, look, it's like the best way to get greens is to make them taste like chocolate milk. Absolutely. So, I mean, we beg, we plead, we, we yeah, threaten I've got our three kids. kids right. Yeah, so I got two myself. And so, you know, you, when they're in the womb, you're thinking they're going to grow up but not eating nothing but organic vegetables. Right, and right. they come out, you can barely get a bean burrito down their throat exactly. at the age of five. So the kids' superfood really is out there for the parents. It's the most uh, heavily pigmented fruit and vegetable concentrates yeah, coming from that. all the colors of the rainbow. So greens, reds, purples. So it offers a lot of phytonutrients that you're going to get represented from all the colors of the rainbow. Uh, we have it uh, available, so you take it, throw it in your glass, mix it up with some milk, and it tastes like chocolate milk. So you don't need to plead, struggle, or threaten your kids to eat their now, vegetables. Now, we were talking to Terry a little bit earlier, and one of your representatives, and she said, even the adults buy this one. So yep. it's like, you know, I mean, let's face it, if you're going to just buy one, I mean, and you're thinking you're going to give it to your kids, I mean, not a bad product, right? No, not at all. I mean, it doesn't have the concentration of allergies in there. Um, so we're, we did remove some of the things because we wanted to make sure that it was uh, a well represented from all the colors of the rainbow and more traditional produce that you're going to see. But it does have our wheatgrass, barley grass, and alfalfa in there. Okay. Yeah. So it makes, it makes mom feel good. What's, what's spirulina and what's chlorella? Not in this particular product, but at the same time, everything else, plus like you were saying, the colors of the rainbow, boom, ready to go. Yeah. All right. So now there's been some new things that you've come out with. Yep. Okay. So, so like I, I was thinking earlier, I wanted to talk about one thing, but I think I want to do the ORAC, and ORAC product first. Okay. So 15,000 uh, active units of ORAC. So ORAC oxygen radical absorption capacity. So, you know, that being, hey, look, all these phytonutrients, these colors, these pigments, everything, what they do is they're free radical scavengers like vitamin C, vitamin E, and sometimes more effective. And so what you've done is you come out with this, and I, I looked at the list. I mean, you've got, you've got choke cherry, you've got, you know, you've got beets, you've got, I mean, just everything imaginable in there. You've got acai. So that looks to be a great product as well, too. Yeah, so what we did is we partnered up with a company called Futraceuticals or Vandering and Farms based out of here in the United States. And they had a Spectra Auric blend in it. So it targets all major five free radicals that are found in the body. So most Auric blends, what you're going to see is they focus on just one uh, major free radical. And so we're targeting all five. It's a great tasting product. And so basically what this is is an addition to our green superfood that you're already going to get from the original um, with the addition of the uh, Spectra Auric blend. Tastes, it has a great berry flavor to it. Shake it up in water and it still good, tastes good. Good flavor. Yeah. All right, so now the next product, okay? And now I've got that vision. Remember that vision of you two driving down the road in this little compact commuter car. You're drinking the Java, and then your buddy's drinking the greens. So what was this? I mean, we did this because what? Because you had to have your Java and your greens together, right? Yeah, I finally won, so <laughs> let's, let's put it together. Well, we work with... Uh, Guayaki, who's a, a company that sells Herba Mate, and essentially what that is, is a plant based out of um, Central and South America, and it's, uh, it's a heavily caffeinated source, uh, plant-based uh, caffeine source uh, that we put into our green superfoods, along with matcha green tea. So this is still our original green superfood, 
fortified with organic matcha and organic herba mate. And then it's got a nice little lemon lime flavor that if you throw it in water, it still tastes a little bit like an Arnold Palmer or a sweetened tea. So you, um, can, you can do this for breakfast now. Absolutely. Before breakfast, with breakfast to get you up and rolling. It gives you a so, nice little heightened awareness. So now you got the blend between the two of the original products. Right, right, with a lot of nutrients there to support it so you don't have any crash. Yeah, obviously a great product. And it, I was reading through the label, um, it looks to me like that would be something for somebody who really kind of would like that morning, like kind of a wake-up tonic sort of effect, or maybe in the afternoon, or if you're studying, or something of that nature, that'd be a great product to use. Yeah, it's a fantastic product for us. Great in the afternoons as well, right. like you said. So this one, I ate some of this. I like the flavor of this. And this is this is kind of like, you know, for the like for the total hardcore, you know, I, I don't want any flavor. I just want the best of the best of the world. And so this is your super green raw, energy, raw reserve. So although it tastes good, so give us a little information about this and then tell me how you kind of flavored this one. Because it's, so, it's good. I'll be honest with you. I thought it was and my, my taste buds are a little bit off sometimes, but I felt like this one was a great finish. So. Yeah, it's, uh, we're really proud of this. This is uh, called the Raw Reserve. All of our products are raw, but we just were uh, shooting for more of a wine label feel of um, when, you, when you get a chance to pick it up in the stores, you'll understand what we're talking about. So similar to like a private reserve or a state reserve, call this the Raw Reserve. It uh, is our most focused and concentrated green foods that we have out there. So it combines E3 Live, AFA powders, the spirulina, chlorella. We also incorporate all of our grasses that we grow on our family farm, coupled with some sea vegetables. Yeah, you know, I saw dulse, this. Dulse, Delaria, and yeah. Kelp and bladder rack. And so the great thing about the sea vegetables is you're going to get a mineralization content from most plant-based. You're going to get a mineralization content of about 5%. So the sea vegetables offer something in excess of 40%. Right. So we take that along with chia seeds, flax seeds. Uh, we also put in their burdock root and some other wonderful ingredients. And then every serving has 25 billion um, probiotics per serving in there. So it's a load of uh, probiotics that are in there with the greens. That's the one I'm taking home. Yeah, it's a great product. We like finish it out product. a little bit with... Uh, some cayenne pepper and uh, ginger. So it gives it a little bit of flavor, so it's not just a- No, I, a, thought, I thought the cayenne was really a good twist. It, yeah. It, it's great, yeah. especially for a raw foodist or anything of that nature, that's a great product. Yeah, so all of our products, raw, vegan, uh, certified organic, gluten-free, that's a, another big thing. I think that's important. A lot of people think wheat, and then they don't get that whole idea that wheat grass, of course, doesn't have the gluten in it. Right. It's not until you take the berry and then you actually powderize it, that's where you're going to get the gluten. Yeah, so right. real significant in this situation, all the products are, are gluten-free. So if somebody's like gluten intolerant, be in a situation where, hey, you know what? I can't use that. It's got wheat in it. No, no, no. No problem here. There's no gluten in there. Yeah, so. and just us with cu us cutting the top two inches, it's far removed from where any gluten would be formed anyways. Yeah. And so if anyone had any issues with uh, a green food powder, that's typically someone cutting it really close to the soil line. Great. So Amazing lot, grass. Sounds yeah. like a great product for us to extend at Clark's Nutrition as well, not only to have it, but also to bring it out to you guys. And the neat thing here is uh, we got to interview the uh, co-founder and we got some uh, great stories behind the scene. Felt like this is a good time for us to kind of present it to our Clark's family. Thanks so much for joining us today.